Hi guys, today I want to start a new series about Angular 5. In this video I want to show you how you can set up your environment and start working with Angular 5. So let's get started. As you can see we are on the main side of Angular 5. So let's go to the docs to check what we need. Go to getting started section. And over here in step 1 we can see that we need to install Node.js and npm and Node.js must be at least in version 6.9 and npm in version 3. Let's go to the Node.js site and download the latest version of the Node.js. Actually it is 8.10 so let's click the button and save it on the local machine. It will take a while. Now we can install Node.js, so let's go. Let's click next. Here you can choose the path where you want to install Node.js. I will leave it default. Next, next and install. And after installation is completed, finish. So now let's check if Node.js and NPM are installed properly. So to do this, go to the console and type node-v and hit enter. And as you can see, we have installed Node.js in version 8.10. And to check if npm is installed, do exactly the same. So npm v and enter. And as you can see, we have npm in version 5.6. Okay, so let's go back to the Angular docs and check what we have to do next. So now we have to install the Angular CLI using npm. So let's go and do it. Go to the console and let's type npm to use node packet manager command install dash g flag to install Angular CLI globally in our system. So we can use Angular commands in any place in our system and type at angular slash cli and hit enter and it will take a while probably so let's wait angular cli is now installed it took around 30 seconds and now we are ready to generate a new project so let's go to the console and navigate to place on your computer where you want to create your new angular project in my case it's d slash youtube slash angular hit enter and now to use angular cli let's type ng and let's use comment new to create new project and now we have to pass the name of our app so let's say it will be my app and hit enter After around 2 minutes, Angular CLI created basic project structure for us and installed all dependencies we need to start working on our Angular application. If you want to know more about CLI, you can always go to the cli.angular.io and over here you can get to know everything you want. Now let's open Visual Studio Code, go to File, now select add folder to workspace and over here we have to find our angular application as you can see the name of the folder is the same we passed in the console so select it and click add here is our first angular application i will try to go over the structure and explain everything in the next video but for now, 
let's just run the application so let's open the terminal in the visual studio code now to run our application we have to use angular cli so we type ng now we have to use command serve and we will also use the flag open which one will open our application in the web browser so hit enter and wait a while As you can see, this is the default view of our application and it's running now on the local host port 4200. Okay guys, this is all for today. I hope you learned something new and see you next time.